Hey, a bunch of career criminals. Not looking good for low rate Loeffler. Not at all. I'm gonna echo what Anna Kasparian had to say about her this morning. Prison! Not looking good. Very, very bad. So, if you're unaware, she didn't just sell and dump a bunch of stock. Didn't just do that. That wasn't all that happened with this insider trading scandal. Apparently, she went ahead and picked up some too. Some very valuable stock, like medical garments. Like technology stocks. You know, things that might help you telecommute. <laughs> it's unbelievable. The cravenness, the open nature of the corruption in D.C. with these derelicts. So much for draining the swamp. So much for draining the swamp. No wonder you had to be appointed to your seat. Same as Marginal McSally, who, hey, let's keep it real. Not looking too good for her. Also, I mean, she doesn't have a very good chance of being elected because she was never elected in the first place. Remember, she lost to Kirsten Cinema and then was appointed to the other seat that opened up. When old flaky Jeff decided, I'm done. All right. So both of these senators appointed by Republicans look like they're going to go down in different ways. One's going to prison and one's going to get her ass kicked by a legend. Okay. So Mark Kelly, say what you want about him. Dude's a legend. He's a freaking astronaut. His wife survived an assassination attempt. Pretty historic one, actually, for unfortunate reasons. All right. <clears throat> and he's coming to free. He's coming back for the right wing. That's what this dude is doing right now. And I don't know where he stands on Medicare for all, but I'm all for him right now. I'm all for him dominating Martha McSally and I'm all for Kelly Loeffler going to jail. Now check it out. I'm actually going to link this up for you guys. <laughs> it's just amazing. It's just amazing. Loeffler reports more stock sales amid insider trading allegations. More stock sales and buys. U.S. Senator Kelly Loeffler's most recent financial disclosures show that millions of dollars in stocks were sold on her behalf at the same time Congress was dealing with the impact of coronavirus. The largest transactions and the most politically problematic, problematic involve $18.7 million in sales of intercontinental exchange stock in three separate deals. Listen to the dates. Dated February 26th and March 11th. Loeffler is a former executive with ICE, and her husband, Jeff Sprecher, is the CEO of the company which owns the New York Stock Exchange, among other financial marketplaces. Are you kidding me right now? What is the discussion? Take it to court. You have enough information to take her ass to court. During the same time period reflected on reports filed late Tuesday, the couple also sold shares in retail stores such as Lululemon and TJ Maxx and invested in a company that makes COVID-19 protective garments. <laughs> Stick a fork in her. She's done. Don't ask her if she's all right, dog. She's hurting. She's hurting right now. Don't ask her if she's all right. The Atlanta Journal-Constitution got the first look at these reports covering mid-February through mid-March and shedding new light on the Loeffler's financial transactions during the pandemic. Previous reports, which have put Loeffler in a national spotlight, cover her trading during the first six weeks of 2020. <laughs> You're done. You're absolutely finished. You are not going to be reelected. You are going to jail. That's where you belong. That's where all you... Hey, if Martha Stewart can go to jail for insider trading, so can a senator. And it's not looking good for Senator Burr in North Carolina either. But we could do a whole nother video on that guy is a disaster. I mean, does he have any allies left? Let's keep it real. Does that dude have any allies left? I have a feeling why she has hers left because let's keep it real. She was appointed. She was appointed. She's a total MAGA lover, Trumper through and through. And furthermore, look at the power her husband has. No wonder people are coming around to rally around her. Give me a freaking break. You think the working class wants you to rally around her? You think the working class wants you princes and princesses of plutocracy to rally around these people? She's married to one of the stock market masters. They don't want you rallying around her. She's one of the gangsters of greed we always talk about. God 
damn these people can't read the room. They cannot read a room at all. They're too busy sniffing their own farts, as Kyle Klinsky always says. Guys, I'm going to leave it at that, man. They're buying their own bullshit. That's what we used to say. We used to say one of the most dangerous things you can do is to buy your own bullshit. They used to say product or whatever. Meaning to totally buy into yourself 100%. You become a narcissist. You become a sociopath. You never change. Hey, I used to be a Republican Catholic conservative. <laughs> Think about that. I'm now an independent atheist libertarian socialist. Oh, how times change when you're willing to be logical, reasonable, and rational. Oh, how things change when you're not so stubborn, not so hard headed, intransigent, and obstinate. Oh, how things can change when you gather information and act on that information. That's why I am who I am. These people can't do it. They cannot do it. They have a fundamental inability to change. They are fundamentally rigid. The rigidity of their ideology paralyzes them. Guys, I'm going to leave it at that. You know what's up. Go get them.